Hello friends and as part of creating CRUD system by using object oriented PHP programming with Ajax, we will learn how can we insert or add data into MySQL database table by using PHP object oriented programming concept with jQuery Ajax method. So we can insert or add data and refresh HTML table data without page refresh. In previous part we have already fetch or select data from MySQL database table by using object oriented PHP script with Ajax method. But now we will see that how can we use object and class code for inserting data with Ajax method. Inserting of data is the one part of any CRUD operation and in web development also insert or save of records is the one of common part, so in future we can use that records by retrieving. In this system we will develop PHP CRUD operation without page refresh by using PHP object oriented programming with Ajax, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. If we use PHP object oriented programming code as back end and in front end we have used Ajax. So this type of system will work faster than normal PHP scripted system. In latest trend most of the web application use Ajax for any type operation, this is because user can do any operation without going to another page. Now let's start writing code, in previous we have already make one CRUD class and in that class we have already write function for database connection, but now we have go to our index.php page and on that page we have already created object of CRUD class. For add new user records we will use collapse plugin of bootstrap, collapse are used for when you want to hide or show content on web page. Here we will make form under collapse class. So when we want to add new records then we can show form otherwise we can hide form also. So now we have make one button for add new records, so we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button. Name is equal to add data toggle is equal to collapse, data target attribute is equal to user collapse and button text is add. Here data toggle is equal to collapse is to control show or hide the collapsible content and data target is equal to user collapse which will be an aid of division tag in which we will define HTML form for entering data and this is an attribute to connect the button with collapsible content. Now we have create one division tag with attribute it is equal to user collapse and class is equal to collapse. This is our collapsible division tag and under this tag we will create form. So when we have click on above button then this division content will be visible and it can be hide by clicking above button. Under this division tag we have create one form tag with attribute method is equal to poster and it is equal to user form. We will use this form in and query code for fetching this form element value. Under this form first we want to create text box for entering first name data. So we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to first name, it is equal to first name. Then after we have create one more text box for entering last name data. So we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name, it is equal to last name. After this we want to define one file tag for selecting user image. So we have write input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to user image and it is equal to user image. Under this form we have add one hidden tag for define insert update operation in PHP code, so we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to action and it is equal to action. So our form is ready, now we want to create submit button for sending this form data to server, so we have create one input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to button action. It is equal to button action and value is equal to insert. We can send form data by clicking on this button. 
When page was load at that time we want to set hidden action value to insert so here we have write dollar with action with value method and under this method we have write insert. So when page will load then action hidden field value will be insert. Now we have moved to write query code on user form submit. Data will be inserted on submit form event. So we have write dollar document with on method. Under this method we have first write submit event, then after we have write form id user form and one event function. When form will submit it then this code will be execute. Under this we have first write event dot prevent default function, this method will prevent form data from submitting. Then after we have write first name variable is equal to dollar first name which is an id of text box with value method. This method will get first name text box value and store into this first name variable. After this we have defined one more variable last name is equal to dollar with last name which is an id of last name text box with value method. This method will get value of last name text box and store under this last name variable. Then after we have defined one more variable like extension. Under this variable we want to store extension of selected file, so we have write dollar with selector like user image which is an id of input type file with value method dot split method with dot delimiter with pop method with to lower case method. This code will return extension of selected file and store that extension under this extension variable. After this we have write if statement with condition like extension variable value is not equal to blank, here this condition will check if value of this extension variable is not blank then it will execute if block of code. Suppose we have not select image then this variable value will be blank then at that time it will not execute if block of code. After this we have write if statement with condition like query dot an array function with two argument. In first argument we have write extension variable in which we have store extension of selected file and in second argument we have write allowed extension in array format is equal to minus 1. This condition will check if selected file extension not available in array of extension, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert pop up message with text message like invalid image file. This alert message will pop up if selected file extension not available in array of extension. Then after we want to remove file from input file tag, so we have write dollar user image which is an idle file tag with value method and under this method we have write blank value. This code will remove selected file from file tag and lastly we have write return false statement. After this we have write if statement with condition like first name variable value is not equal to blank and last name variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if both variable has value then it will execute if block of code and if both or one of the both variable has no value then it will execute else block of code. Suppose both or one of the variable has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert message like both fields are required. But suppose both variable has value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write ajax method and under this method we have write url option set to action.php. This will send request to this url. In second option we have write method set to post, here we have set post method for send data. In third option we have write data option, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write new form data object, here data will send to server in a set of key and value pairs. Then after we have write content type option set to false, here content type used when sending data to the server. After this we have write process data option set to false, this is for send DOM document or not process data file so it is set to false. Lastly in Ajax method we have write success callback function, if a function to be called if request succeeds. 
Under this success callback function, we have write alert with message which we have get from function data argument. It will pop up alert message which it will receive from server. After this we want to reset user form, so we have write dollar with form id user formed with zero index dot reset method, this will reset all form fields. Lastly, in this success function, we want to update user data in table, so we have call load data function, this will reload table data without page refresh and we can see the inserted data in table. Now we have go to write PHP code on action.php page. In previous video we have already include CRUD class on this page and we have already created object of this class and we have already write code for load data from user table. But now we want to write PHP code for insert data, so here we have write of statement with dollar $post action variable is equal to insert. Here dollar post action is the value of submit button and this condition will check if value of button is equal to insert then it will execute if block of code. Suppose value of this dollar post action variable value is equal to insert then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar first name variable is equal to miss clear real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar object connect and in second argument we have write dollar post first name variable. This function will remove special character from string and store clean text in dollar first name variable. Then after we have write one new variable dollar last name variable is equal to miss clear real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string like dollar object connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post last name variable this function will remove special character from dollar post last name variable string and store clean text in dollar last name variable after this we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar object with upload file function with one argument like dollar files user image variable. This function we will create at CRUD class and it will upload user image and return name of uploaded image and store name of that uploaded image and this dollar image variable. So we have go to CRUD class and on that class we have make upload file function with one argument like dollar file variable. This function will upload file to upload folder which we have already created in our working folder. Under this function we have write of statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar file variable. This function will check value of this dollar file variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar extension variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument we have write sting delimiter dot and in second argument we have write name of selected file get from dollar files name variable. This function will make an array from selected file name with extension. Then after we have write dollar new name variable is equal to ran function dot dollar extension one index in which it store extension of selected file. Here we have create new image name by using ran function and get selected file extension from dollar extension variable one index. After this we have write dollar destination variable is equal to upload folder name slash dollar new name variable in which we have store new image name. Here we have define file destination with file name. Now we have write move uploaded file function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar files temporary name and in second argument we have write dollar destination variable. This function will upload image to its defined destination. Lastly, in this function we have write return dollar new name variable. This statement will return the new name of image which we can use for store in database. So our function is ready for upload image. So we have go to action.php page and on that page we have already called this function and return the name of uploaded image. 
so we have now write query for insert data, so we have write dollar $query variable is equal to insert into users table with table column like first name, last name and image with values like dollar first name variable, dollar last name variable and dollar image variable. So this is our insert data query. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar object with execute query function with one argument like dollar query variable. This function will execute this query and data will be inserted into database. Lastly we have write echo statement with text like data inserted. This message will be pop up on web page after data will be inserted into database. So our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that when page has been loaded and user data has been loaded with the update and delete button link in table format. Above this table data we can see one add button, so when we have click on this button then one form has been visible on web page. When we have again click on that add button then form has been hide from web page. This is because we have used bootstrap collapse. Now want to insert data so we have click on button and form has been visible on web page and we have directly click on insert button but it pop message like both fields are required. So in first name we have enter Marion and in last name we have enter Adams and then after we have select image for this user and click on insert button. After clicking on insert button data inserted message has been pop up on web page and we can also see inserted data has been visible under table also with image without page refresh. So in this part we have seen not only how can we insert data but also upload image by using Ajax query method with object oriented PHP programming without page refresh. For making stylish form we have used bootstrap collapse. By using bootstrap collapse we can hide form on web page. But when we want to add new data then at the time we can visible form on web page. So by using bootstrap collapse we can hide large amount of content on web page but here we have use for hide form. This is the unique you can also use in your web development project. So in this CRUD system we have seen how can we use bootstrap collapse for inserting data into MySQL database table by using Ajax query method with object oriented PHP programming. So we can add new records without page refresh. We can also call inserting or adding live data or single page web application also. In next part we will make discussing on how to update or edit my SQL table data by using Ajax with PHP object oriented programming script. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.